Hey y'all, I'm Stacy. And I'm Tom with RV Texas, y'all. Welcome back to another Winging It Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, well, the Sticks and Bricks house sold. Now what? <laughs> Alrighty, y'all know now how this works. If you've seen the other Winging It Wednesdays, I'm setting the timer on my phone for 10 minutes. And we're? Winging it. We're winging it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you've been watching the videos, you know our Sticks and Bricks house has sold. We yeah. are done. That's awesome. We're so excited, y'all. And now we have a new challenge uh, that I really didn't expect it's like, what do we do now? Well, I mean, we expected it, but it, it now is reality <laughs> because most of you know, if you followed our journey to this point, that we've stuck semi-close, you know, in case we had to do something with the house or something came up. Uh, so all of our plans really were in this vicinity. And, and now it's... It's opened things up for us. Yeah, and, and what I mean by I didn't really expect it, I guess in my mind, you know, the day would come, we'd sell the house, and we would just start traveling. And But that's what we were going to do if y'all followed way back in our journey when we talked about this uh, before we went full-time, that we really thought that we were going to be living in the house when we sold the house, and that was going to be the launch, you know, right. so... But uh, we didn't do it in that order. We changed our order. You know, we got out of the house, got it ready, sold it. Uh, so it is different than the way we really had planned it to begin with. So, yeah, now what? I mean, it, it is a different experience. But to me, it's the most exciting part. Oh, it definitely is. It's just we've never been our whole lives. We've never been in a situation where we don't have to be somewhere at a particular, you know, we don't have to be back at a particular date, you know? So it's kind of tough getting my head wrapped around that is it's a completely different way of travel that we're about to embark on. Yeah, because it's not just what every people, most people do like a vacation. This isn't just a vacation. This is our life now. And, and the, there are challenges here because it's not, can we find a place to go to on this given week? We have to find yeah. a place to go to because we have to have a place to stay. I mean, Texas isn't like some other states. Texas doesn't have a lot of boondocking opportunities. I mean, we don't have BLM lands in Texas. So, I mean, we've got to find legitimate places to go. And so that's kind of what we're tasked with. Well, now. and, you know, looking forward, uh, you know, we're going to have Easter holidays coming up. We're going to have Memorial Day coming up. We're going to have Fourth of July and then Labor Day. And and so, you know, like our friends, Eric and Laurel, Raven and Chickadee, a few videos back, you might remember, you know, that was a piece of advice they gave is, you know, yeah, maybe it's nice to not plan every so often, but if there's certain places you want to see, you need to plan a little bit maybe. So you make sure that you can get a good spot. But I got to tell you the planning part, I love it because we started doing some planning yesterday, trying to figure out where we want to go, what we want to do. And it's because then you get to dream a little bit because now, you know, we can go virtually anywhere within reason. Yeah. And so it's really exciting. And, and trying to figure, I mean, it's like a puzzle. And we said it there. I mean, it's like a puzzle and putting the pieces together. Uh, and Laurel said, I remember what she said. She goes, sometimes it feels like it's all sky blue. You know, you're trying to put them together. And I understand that. But we're, uh, like right now, it's spring break. And we needed, we already had, plan to be in a place at spring break because we knew this was going to be a tough time in this state to go a lot of places because spring break a lot of people travel a lot of people travel in texas especially and because the weather's nicer mm -hmm. uh, you can see we're in shorts today and Yay. 
and short sleeves finally it's starting to warm up amen because i'm a shorts guy <laughs> um so uh but after this now things open up a little bit but for us too i think what we kind of worried about is summer is coming and you know vacations in the state parks in texas really book up right so yeah so uh, we want to be hitting a lot of state parks, you know. I know a lot of y'all have a big interest in the state parks, and if you followed our channel, you know we love the state parks. Uh, so that's a priority for us, to try to go and visit and stay in as many of the Texas state parks coming up uh, as we can. Eventually, our plan is to hit all of them. Yeah. Um, we also, we want to do some fun festival things, you know. Absolutely. So we're looking at where are some of the festivals that we're interested in, and and uh, trying to work our plans around those as well. Um, if you have a favorite festival that you think is awesome and we need to check out, make sure you leave it in the comments. Yeah, we have a full list of festivals across the state of Texas on our website, rvtexasyall.com. Very extensive list that Stacy's put together. But if you go to that and you don't find a festival that you know about please let us know i mean she does some serious research on that and but now we use that we go back to her list and we try to we're trying to find festivals that we can go here and there because again to us that's part of experiencing life and and i'm just i can't wait to do more and more of that and that's i think what we've learned here recently is that's that's really why we're doing this. We want to experience life. Life is too short. You never know uh, when your last day is going to be. Right. And so we want to get the most out of it that we can. And so part of our journey here is to try to find the beautiful places to stay and how long can we stay there and what is there also to see around there, you know? Let's right. learn about the towns. Let's go to some of those cool museums. Let's uh, take in some of the festivals and but we're also trying to do it in a way that we're finding out, too, something new, that some state parks have weekly rates, yeah. which is wonderful. So so we can actually do it economically as well. So, uh, And what we're saying is, you know, they all have daily rates, but some will offer a discount if you do a full week. And some of those are based on uh, peak and non-peak times of year. Right. And some of them are year-round. So it, that's honestly something we never paid attention to before now. Right. Uh, but now living in the RV full time, that's something that's very real. You know, this can get very expensive very quickly if you're spending every night paying a daily rate, especially if you're staying in RV parks along the way. So part of learning this new lifestyle is learning how can you save a few dollars by maybe staying, finding a state park that has a weekly rate. Because a few or, dollars saved on where we stay could be a few more dollars we can put into a festival or, right. or a museum or something that we have to pay to get into. So obviously we need to budget and we need, so part of our research is, you know, can we stay a week do we get a discount for that? And, and if we do, believe me, we're going to find the things all around that state park. So it's not just going to be about the state park. It would be about things around the state park, too. Exactly. And so I guess our question to you is, uh, if you're in our situation and you're looking at where you want to go, what are some of the things you'd like to see? Where are some of the parks you look forward to seeing? What are some of the museums that are super cool, festivals that are fun? Because now it's wide open. It's like yeah. when, when we sat down the other day and we literally said, uh, now what? What do we do? Where do we go? Uh, in what order? You know, and we're going to be coming back to Houston um, every few weeks or so to see our folks and uh, or or every month and a half to two months at right, least right um, you know and people have asked us about that too it's like how do you handle seeing your family when you're on the road um, and so that's one thing we're going to be learning more about here as we really begin our travels and one thing that's been great already and it's starting to happen and it's been wonderful is Lately, we're getting to spend more time with our friends and yeah. stuff, too. We're, we're definitely spending time with family, but our our friends that we haven't really uh, 
been around much over the last 15 years, we're making time. We're, we're finding we're meeting them for dinner, for lunch. Uh, so these things are one of the things that we definitely wanted to accomplish, and, and we are accomplishing it, and, and that's awesome. We don't always put it on video because, you know, it's not their thing. They're, they're not, they don't want to be part of our channel, but we, it is exciting to us that we can reconnect with, with our friends. It is. And so that's part of the now what also. Yeah. You know, is where, where, where are folks living nowadays? How can we, you know, what can we do to kind of add that in to part of our uh, journey? Oh, oh there and there's it is. the 10 minutes. So, yeah. hey, you know, we'd love to hear your comments again. Make sure you drop us a line down below and let us know. Give us some ideas on where we should go. Now what entails it all. So. Yeah. I guess that about does it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, y'all. Please hit like if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We share, have a share, lot of fun stuff. Yeah, share up. the video if you liked it. Share it with your friends. And until next time, y'all, keep on winging it and safe <laughs> travels. Happy camping. Bye. Bye.